Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to merge cells in Excel without losing data. If you use the built-in merge tool in Excel, you will lose all data except the first cell. So to avoid this, first go to the developer tab, open visual basic, now insert a new module and copy the code from the video description, paste the code here save the code then save the workbook as an excel xlsm file now save the file as an xlsm file so that you don't lose the code later on okay now let's create a button for this code to run with just one click okay so save it again okay now right click on any tab here then choose customize the ribbon now let's say you want the button on the home tab then select any group let's say alignment group or before if you want it before the alignment group then you should select font okay now select new group and rename the group as March cell March cells okay now pick any icon here okay now and find the macro from the popular commands okay March cells with data and add okay now click ok go to the home tab and the macro merge cells with data is visible here now you can select the cells and just click on the merge cell the con confirm ok and then the cells will be merged without losing the data okay so this is how you can match cells without losing data in excel there are some other ways if you don't like to use the vba code let's say you have the data on on a same column and and one adjacent cells like this then first expand the column to a certain point so that uh, while merging the cells the cell contents can be fitted within one cell okay then from the home tab on the editing group click on justify then data from the two cells will be merged into a single cell now you can just manually merge these two cells uh, let's say this is the merge cell okay. so this is how you can also merge and merge cells without losing data in excel okay there is another way to do this for example let's create a new uh, column here first merge the data from the two cells manually let's say john is miss okay now if you press ctrl e then it will flash fill the entire column okay so now you have just merged the data from the two columns now you can just manually copy the data here and just delete this column so this is how you can merge cells in excel without losing data hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you for watching please subscribe to get more videos like this and i will see you on the next video